Here we are in the Fomorian Frontier, and I hate this place. This place doesn't have a whole lot going for it, but I decided to try something new. Scenic Route Finder. It finds great places on your route. You just put your route in here, up top, the jump range of your ship, how far you're willing to go off course, and you search for points of interest, and it actually finds them usually. The problem with this is uh, it doesn't find every system. Like, I put in my system up here, and it said it didn't exist. So I just put in the start of the system, showed a drop-down list, and then I picked a system within the region I was in. And then I found a region I was heading in the direction of, and I just picked a random system out of that, and then generated a nearby list of points of interest. Here we are at the nest. We happen to be right next to it, within like 12 jumps of it, which was pretty interesting. And then you just click on this info tab over here, and it shows you this on the EDSM the Elite Dangerous Star Map website, which I really like. Apparently, the nest is a great place to uh, rest after crossing the abyss. Unfortunately, I have to pick a landing site. It's body 1A, has a specific landing site. Gotta hate surface coordinates. Ugh. But it says there's varied topography of rolling dunes and steep mountains. Apparently a good view or something. Now, this might be outdated, so we're gonna have to find out. All right, planet 1A. I am pretty sure I have never been here on console or PC. Do, 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 do. It is a pretty gas giant. It's a very pretty gas giant. Wow, that thing's incredible looking. I don't think I've ever seen a gas giant looks like that. This is definitely a tube prober. I don't even need to check. Very, very, very small moon. You can tell because of how irregular its uh, circumference is. Very close to it. Enough. I don't need the glide. Let's pull out of the glide. Pull out of the glide. We're basically right on it. Is this it? I can't see fucking shit. At negative love, negative 50. He said the gas giant would be on the horizon. Yeah, there, there it is. Yeah, super sweet topography, guys. Look at all these rolling dunes. Let's, um, turn off night. <laughs> Let's not turn off night vision. And this is pretty much right where they, the base camp is. Now, granted, that is a pretty cool gas giant. But the topography is nothing special at all. You can't even see it because it's so damn pitch black here. I gotta be careful not to fall right into a vent. I gotta stay where my headlights are. Pretty cool sight right here. All right. Look, oh, now you stop, and there's a gas giant beyond them. All right, here's the best view I could get off this planet. Rolling dunes of topography, guys. Hey, someone left the campfire here. Oh my, my temperature is skyrocketing when I get close to that. God, I hope it doesn't erupt when I'm looking at it. All right, kids, it's time for campfire stories of Geist. You're not lighting me up anymore. Don't you die out on me, bitch. I guess we put out the campfire. All right, we're gonna, gonna do a pass by on this uh, gas giant. Pretty long, wide ring system. Might have to keep up some speed or I'm not gonna be getting out of its gravity well in time this year. But, ooh, that's super cool. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think it has life on it. I think it has life on it. I don't, but <laughs> scan it anyways, boys. Let's hit the ring really quick. Shoot one right at it. 20 prober. There's no way on God's green earth I'm gonna get it from this angle. Not if you move around. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Ugh. I don't care if I hit the the uh, target bonus of my probes. I don't think this is going to be worth many credits. I just want to see if there's life on it or not. 
Which I think I'll have to map to find that. That was exactly where I wanted to shoot. I don't know all of those. But I'm still missing a chunk somewhere. Really? I have to get a lot closer to this than I'm comfortable with, typically. It's gonna be hell pulling away from this thing. Between the gas giant and the rings we go, kids! I don't want to hit the exclusion zone, nor do I want to fall into the rings. Nor do I want to get too close to where I can't pull out of the fucking gravity. There's a way to, like, look behind the planetary body when you're shooting probes at it, but I don't care for that. It seems weird to have a camera out back that way. Oh, if I really pull this out, then I can get more over there. <laughs> God. Get the hell out of here. No, it doesn't mention anything about life. I learned nothing. Nothing about it. Well, we're not in the Flytrap Nebula. We're in a system near it. This is reportedly the best view of the nebula. Ooh. And there it is, kids. It looks like a Venn diagram. It's the Venn diagram nebula. Moving on. Okay, we're heading to something called Murphy's Paradox. It's also part of the Distance Worlds 2 expedition, so I was intending to save it for another uh, video in the future, but I figured I'd swing by it since I'm right next to it. And it's right, it's, you can probably see the fly nebula from here. There's a pair of gas giants, like, caught in each other's orbit over here. But we're visiting one of the moons of one of these gas giants. That is apparently impossible. And by that I mean it shouldn't exist the way it does. When you get close to a large gravity body, well you can get ripped apart if you're within the Roche limit. That's why um, gas giants often have uh, ring systems around them. And this little moon right here, almost in the shadow of the gas giant, is way too close to not be ripped apart and, you know, joining the ring system. It's right on the tip of the ring system, which is really weird. Look at that. A little nugget hiding over here. I hope it's orbiting toward me rather than away from me. Otherwise, we're going to have a dark, dark moon by the time we get to it. See? You see this? This shouldn't be... This just looks weird, guys. Look how weird that looks. You can just instinctively know this shouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? And it's very spherical, too. It, you think it'd be at least like clumpy or something. No, it's a totally stable moon on the tip of the ring system. I'm sure parts of the ring system collide with it periodically. Roche limit? We don't need a Roche limit where we're going. Oh, there's the flying nebula, I told you. Maybe it's the powers of the nebula that is keeping this moon intact. Huh? Man, I didn't think about that, did ya? Oh man, have people been four-wheeling here again? Jesus. Some people have no respect. Look at that. Oh my god. I want to live right here. I want to build a base right right where I'm heading, right now. Build it. Damn, and the sun glinting off that. Shit, the nebula and how the that gradient of the rings. Oh, Jesus. Get me to the surface quick. I'm breathing heavy over here. Oh, I'm not in glide. I'm not in glide. Oh, fuck. All right. We almost just killed ourselves. The power of the nebula, you guys. My home was almost my grave. Get me out of here. Unsafe temperatures. Baby, baby, baby. You know what? You know what? Let's get back inside. I gotta get a good screenshot of this. Oh, the planet isn't as bright as it was. Oh, a little present. It lighted up for me. And you can see the other gas giant off in the corner. You can see the rings moving. Oh, I'm just going to record this for a minute. Thank God real ones don't listen to the Roche limit, huh? I think we're going to set down camp here for now. And, uh, yeah, well, we're halfway out of this place at least. But I don't hate the Fomorian Rift as much anymore. <laughs> Thank you to all the supporters of our channel, our Geist Wing Commanders, Commander HD41117, Commander Irish Love Circle, Dafted124, Glint Wine, Scotty Dotty, Yuri Terra Day, and ZZZZTXR, and our Geist Cadets, Amy Hunter, Danny Taylor, Dreadnought CMV301, Fluffy Bunny1, Hilo Mars, Mogbish, Royal Gleaves, Trocads, and Travis Warren, and our Geist Recruits, 84 Bandwagon, Blood Butcher, David Lissell, Felchammer, it's Deer, Joe Osborne, Joshua Meserve Jr., Paul Calvin, and Slave. Thank you for watching, and until next time, cadets.